then stop? Well, I enjoy doing it. So I do it. Uh, what else? Um... What? I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna shock all of you. I'm a gambling addict. I know. I haven't really talked about it much, but it's true and shocking. Guys, guys. Um. I can't swear. I don't care. Sorry, man. Um. Five years ago, it got so bad I had one hundred dollars left in my bank account. And you know what I did with that hundred? I gambled it on a Mario Party Four mini game against Slime. You know what I did? You know what I did with this guy? You know what I did with this guy? I had I I had a certain amount left in my a Bitcoin wallet. You know what I did? I went to his casino. I went. I started off as gaming. I I went to his to his casino. And you know what I did? I lost all of it. I lost all of it. I gambled it in in his various presence. And you know what? He got a portion of that money. Yoinking. I got yoinked. Yep. And lost. I panicked. Didn't know what to do. So I asked for a double or nothing. Knowing that if I lost the double or nothing, I would have zero it's, way it's of true. paying the final two. Doesn't matter how you twist it. It doesn't matter how you twist it. That happened. Hundred, and I would have to embarrassingly go walk away from the bet. Luckily, I won. I told Slime about that months later, and he forgave me. But, but it just shows how bad my gambling addiction got. Honestly, there was no greater rush in my life than the opportunity to lose every last penny I had. I can't do that now because I have 15 employees. So you're welcome, Gallon, for not gambling your children's future college funds away. But I'm not the only streamer with that gambling issue. XQC has the same problem. Here's a clip of him on Pokey's podcast. Off stream than on stream. Yeah, I, I'm addic I'm addic I gamble every day. I lost two million. Really? I lost 1.85 million a month. He lost one. Well, in my in, in my defense in my defense, um, the the machine the machines were just being weird. Um, Tom was being a piece of shit. Fucking um, they did a wild. I, I'm not even talking about it. million dollars off stream the, the machines were being a bunch of fucking too. bitches it got so bad that his dad called him on stream about how worried he was it's it's a problem for him but he's bringing the problem offline to the off also for all the parasocial andes and vicarious livers guys 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 the the i, I hope you understand this okay my dad my dad talks in ways that people don't understand okay you interact with your own family in certain ways that nobody will ever understand it Family, family problems and behaviors are your all your own. Okay, the way that I talk to my dad is how I talk to my dad. You shouldn't come in and try to analyze what he's saying and how he's saying it and what it means. My dad does a lot of sag farming in real life. He, it's just just what he does. It's just what he does. Sometimes he'll take something really funny and make it really sad on purpose. Then he'll take something really sad and make it really funny. It's just what he does. He's really, uh, uh, he farms emotes in real life. He does that. He's a farmer. Online realm because this week he went back. Every time my dad comes on stream, he, he's clicked on Reddit. Why? Because he farms emotes. Back to That's the what he does. Online gambling streams. Uh, this went on LSF. It went on R forward slash all. It was big, big news. Why? Because he's the biggest streamer in the world. And also, he said he wouldn't do it. Like, what more can I do? This is a clip from 10 months ago when he used to gamble online. Then there was a whole shitstorm about it. There was an H3H3 podcast. And then he said this. What am I going to do? You, you shouldn't gamble on stream. You shouldn't do it. We've known this. I said it. Oh, what don't, is that? Don't do it. I'm sorry for doing it. No, you're fucked. I, I, I did not say I, this. I, I, I'm genuinely sorry that I gambled on stream. Okay? I would he went back to doing it. Now, he says he changed his mind and that he is not a hypocrite. He just no longer feels that way. He felt pressured back then. But understandably, after fans saw this for five hours today, a few of them were mad. And this post, I think, speaks volumes. It's 3,000 upvoted, one of the top posts in a subreddit. And it basically says that I don't want to watch you anymore because what you are doing is making me sad. And I've been watching for like four years. And, and I don't know. I didn't think you would do this. Uh, and XQC replied in the most insane fashion by doubling down and just saying, I don't- I did not double down. He's lying. I tripled and quadrupled down. That's what I did. I quadrupled down. Why? Because initially people made the problem something that it's not. And instead of disproving them, it's, it was easier to say, fuck it. 
oh yeah, you're right, whatever the fuck, because everybody was so deluded. If people don't remember after the issue of the podcast, people were like, oh dude, this is what is real. And you know what, dude? That is just not how it is. That there was a lot of misinformation. There was a lot of misinformation. It was a so dog shit. It was so yeah, bad. Shit, I am not a role model for you guys. If you don't like it, leave. Which, you know, fair enough. He's not the only streamer doing this. But why would he do it? Why do this gambling online if people are going to get really, really mad at you? And I can only think of two good reasons. One, you're already addicted in doing it offline, so you might as well do it online. And two, if you do it sponsored, you're going to make a shit ton of money. Now, the main culprit of all the online gamblings uh, is Stake. That is the main partner. Uh, and they sponsor Aiden Ross, they sponsor XQC, and they also sponsor Train. How much do they pay these people? I don't know how much they pay XQC, but... What, what these guys' deals were, is their own thing, okay? They can apply their morals and their ethics to their own deals, okay? Okay, me and Train have complete different because things Ross that doesn't DMs, do some of the things that you know, I fucking hate. At least $4 million a month, which is crazy. That, that is an insane amount of money. In a year, that is more than Ninja made on his Mixer deal. That is more than Tom Brady makes on his NFL contract. It's a shit ton of money. It's, 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 it's hard to say no to that amount of money. Uh, in, look, I'm not a high road guy. I'm not here to say that, oh, I am much better. I would never take Mine a is way less gambling sponsorship, but I don't mind is way less because it's raw balance. When will people understand? It's way, 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 because it's raw I balance. That's because I have devout morals that I stand by to a T or because I don't want the backlash of people to be mad at me. And I like the see, audience. See, I've cultivated. see, this is why being transparent is impossible with, with people that are outraged. Because when if I if I if I tell you what it is if I tell if, if I tell you what it is and, and what it's about you say Kappa and you, there's no contract there's no contract I I can't and I just just stop people. fuck this chat I genuinely don't know that. the answer to that question what which maybe the it's fuck a is wrong with you do. but guys I think these deals are we called filler deals and shit they have they have to make they have to make probably tweets they have to push their their promotional codes. I, this is not with stake. It's with Rubet. It is not the same because company. I have devout morals that I stand by to a T or because I don't want the backlash of people to not? be mad at me and I like the audience I've cultivated and don't want to disappoint people. I genuinely... It is not almost the same. It's raw balance. Raw balance shows you what the fuck happens when you put the juice in. It goes down. These deals, they have fillers. It fills up. It fills up. And when they win... They don't win the whole thing. It's not their juice. So they, they act like they're happy, but it shows a false reality of what Gambo is. It, it's, it's a complete false made-up fantasy. I don't know the answer to that question. Which Christ. means it's a problem that I have to deal with. But that's me being honest. Look, it's not really Gambo. Four out of the top 1,000 streamers have done a crypto gambling stream. All right? They, they, it's too tempting. I mean, look at the king himself, Trainwreck. He's on a 38-hour stream right now, gambling the entire way. And the gambling is pretty liked. He is a top 11 streamer in the world, okay? If you see this graph right here, his main success has come from gambling. People said a year ago that it would fall off. I'm not explaining it right. Okay, okay. I'll explain it to you very, very, very carefully, okay? Okay. Raw balances. I have my own juice. I get more juice to the juice, okay? Then when I gamble, I, I gamble, and if it goes down and goes to nothing, it goes down and goes to nothing, and I keep nothing. But if I win and I get something or I stay flat, I keep those amounts. Some of these deals are some bullshit like, oh, dude, I'm gonna just gonna go, and it's gonna refill, and, but if I win, I only keep a certain portion of it, right? So so the, literally, the whole point of gamble is high risk, high reward. With the house having an edge. High risk, high reward. These deals, they cut to the risk and they cut to the reward and make it a stagnant promotional dog shit that shows something that is not real. It's a fantasy. It's fake. That's not Locked. even close to the same thing. People will get bored of the gambling. No, he's bigger than ever. People like gambling content. They just like watching it. I have three stats for you guys. The first one, over 60% of Americans have gambled in the past year. The second one, over 80% of Americans are okay with gambling. The third stat, 
This is a Swedish study. It studied about 2,100 addicted gamblers. About 20% of them attempted suicide. It's a problem. But I don't think the onus of whether you gamble or do not gamble should ever be on the streamer. I have a theory where I just feel like we shouldn't rely on humans to have the morality that we are looking for. They should not be the ethical person. It should be the platform. The platform is the one that should dictate what is okay and not okay, rather than hoping that thousands and thousands of people will all abide by loose guidelines that we all think people should abide by. Now, this is the current guidelines for Twitch on gambling, and it says, to prevent harm and scams created by questionable gambling services that sponsor content on Twitch, we will prohibit sharing links or referral codes. So if you ever tune into Trainwreck Stream, it will say, do not gamble. And any time he wins, it'll say, gamble. do not start. Gambling is entertainment and entertainment, entertainment only. only. You, you won't break even. even. You, you won't, won't win. You, you won't, won't do any, any of that. that. This plays every time he does a big win, which, you know, okay, good job. Maybe stopping that a little bit. That's nice. But that's not going to stop people. Uh, and I know that firsthand because I remember early on when I had my sponsored poker streams, I would do a little bit of blackjack offline. I would take my poker winnings and play blackjack with it. And one day I went up big. I, I spun up like like 1K all the way to like $10,000. And that was a lot of money. It's still well, a lot I mean, of money. And I went and told Slime. And I, and I was like, oh, but, but don't please don't gamble because I, I know he has a gambling addiction himself. And he didn't. The next day, I wanted to make my 10,000 into 20, and I lost all of it. I went from 10,000 to zero. And I went to tell Slime, and I said, dude, I, I lost everything. And he's like, ah, oh, that sucks, man. That same night, Slime, without telling me, put $500 onto the online casino to spin it up. After seeing me lose, he did it. And I asked him why. I was like, dude, I lost. Why, why would you put in money? He's like, I don't know, man. I just wanted to hit the dream one time. And that's it. That's okay, the problem. Okay, okay, buddy. This come from a rich streamer who can afford losing money to another guy who can afford losing money. I, 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 I don't know. The argument that people always make is, oh, this is a bad influence for the kids. The kids. Oh, oh, guys, some millionaire is, is, is gambling with disposable income, guys. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, what, what? The kids can't really get their hands on a lot of money. I, yeah, maybe there's an experience. What What is the main point the train says? It's entertainment and entertainment only. It's an event for people that we can afford it when we were rich or whatever. Example like, of a kid getting his mom's card and buying Bitcoin and then putting it into stake.com and gambling. But I think the bigger problem are the gambling addicts, the addictive personalities, the people who know in their head that it is rigged, that this is mathematically meant to make me It lose, is rigged. But do not have the self-control to not gamble. And any slight trigger will send them over the edge. And you can say, well, then just don't watch the content. But it's, it's fucking hard. It's fucking hard as a gambling addict, okay? A little thing can just make you just have the urge to bet. And it happens to me a lot. It happens to me a shit ton. But I try to avoid it because I have 15 employees and I don't want to let them all down and lose all their money. Uh, but it's, it's scary. So I, I have a new rule, a new guideline that I think would solve gambling online and gambling. Ban it. Twitch. It should ban it. No sponsored gambling streams. I don't mean I, I don't agree with this. I think it should ban gambling Simple overall. Rule. Do not allow sponsored gambling streams because there's two major problems with it. One, you have people who are getting a shit, 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 shit ton of money. Millions and millions of dollars. So they are gambling way more recklessly. I totally believe that Train is gambling with his own money, but he's also making so much fucking money that he's able to gamble a million dollars and lose it in a day because he's going to get $10 million that month or some shit. And I don't think that that should be allowed. I think it's too reckless. If Train lost a million dollars and had zero sponsor, he couldn't do this forever. He couldn't do it for a year straight because after 10 months, he would have zero fucking dollars in his bank account. Now, I'm not saying Agreed. I want Train to lose all his money. But at least that wouldn't make him gamble for 38 hours straight, knowing that he always has the fallback. I, 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 I think I'm just transparent about this. No. Um, come to church. I, I, I'm not, not, not right now. Maybe sometimes I'm. Oh, why trust you when you aren't trans? I was transparent about it. When was I not transparent? Of the cash cow coming back in. That's the first problem. People gambling too much money because they're getting paid too much money. The second problem. What part of transparency am I missing? Are streamers who use fake money to gamble. I don't think XQC or Train are doing this, but 
I do know this happens because it was in a CoffeeZilla video, uh, and this is this is the main culprit. Steve will do it. I'll just roll the clip. If I started like putting my own money in this, I feel like I. And I'm feeling if I just filled myself with four thousand, just like right. I think I feel like I could like, but also it could it could be dangerous. But I see it as there's no point in putting my body or your mind through that type of stress. So mm -hmm. I don't need it. Yeah, definitely. In a sponsored gambling stream in Mexico where he lives part-time to do these sponsored gambling streams, he came to the realization that, oh, gambling with your own money could be stressful and bad for your life. That's crazy. That's, that's, how do you, how do you find that out then? That's like showing up to a KKK rally and being like, oh, f dude, they're racist here? Dude, oh, <laughs> I just thought it was like costume day. That's crazy to me. It makes no damn sense. But that's that's my new rule. Twitch, if you're watching this, maybe consider it. I don't know. I think it's good. No sponsored gambling Agreed. streams. That would stop everything. All it gambling. It would stop us from getting mad at a streamer for taking advantage All of gambling. being able to make millions of dollars. Not that it's okay to do that because they're obviously aware and know that they're getting the return. It's the actually see the exact same deal. How do you know? See, see this like this I'm like about, about talking about, about about truth with chat. Sometimes uh it's with it, because misinformation just spreads faster than, than truth. Look at this, look at this guy. That's the most people that say this. How is it the same deal? You're so you're so you're so lost, man. That is a Rubet fill deal compared to a steak raw balance deal. How how does that make any sense? How does it make any sense? How does it? I mean, the problem is that it's not content. It's not content for you. That's all. That's like if you don't like it. I mean, a lot of people don't like don't like some certain some, some content. I mean, these, these days, let's be honest, let's be honest. Everybody hates all the, all the content these days. Fucking, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's RP, whether it's variety, whether it's FPS games, whether it's chill, whatever it's react. Every fucking mold about, every, about everything. The, uh, the compass is in complete disarray. So it's like you put a fucking magnet under the fucking compass. Who the fuck knows that anymore? I enjoy it. That's all I know. That's all I know. I enjoy it. I said we could we, we could move it to only night time. Sometimes I don't really give a shit. I I, I do not care. I it could it it could be never. It could be a little bit. I enjoy it and I, I feel like I feel like doing it until I don't enjoy it anymore. Literally. I feel like doing it until I don't enjoy it no more. And I saw it. Okay. Let me get rid of the ad. Um. It, so. So you're saying that everybody's gonna be happy and there's gonna be no controversy, nobody, nobody's gonna be mad if, it, if it's if it's no longer ad and, and and all of it all of it becomes whatever if it, 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 people are gonna get mad, people are gonna be happy. Can we do that then? Yes. I guarantee you and you that the second that I do that, it won't matter. The hate will go from from 80% to 78%. Because two percent other people probably just left back and went back to LSF to complain about some of the fucking kangaroos going wrong wildness or some shit. Some weird boring ass random ass topic or so, so some shit. People will go back to their fucking whatever complaining lives on Twitter and will complain on TikTok or some other shit because all they want to do is feel like they have power to change things. That that's all they care about. Literally. That's how it is. How am I locked into a contract? There's no contract oh, dude dude I will actually lose my shit. Dude, you think the contract says, yo, train, do 40 hour streams until you fucking pass out and blame, uh, fucking brain bleed, man. Dude, do 40 hours until you can't fucking see straight and you hallucinate fucking real life ghosts that have spin slurry machines. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, what else? What else? It's a step in the right direction. No, it's I I, I generally think that, that Gamba is black and white. I believe that there's no gradient and there's no gray area. Yet people 
People always say, oh, we'll let this guy gamba because, oh, dude, he needs it. We'll get this guy gamba because of what people, the people's moral compass isn't, isn't, it was black or white.